what is up guys, Andy and here with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your PC or your laptop into a Wi-Fi signal. It's not making its own Wi-Fi signal, it must be connected to either a, uh, well, I'm not sure, if um, it's not working on my PC, but it, it, I think it's possible, but you can use it, currently as of right now, you can connect to a Wi-Fi signal on your laptop or your PC or desktop and you can make a Wi-Fi signal out of that, out of your actual computer and broadcast it out to surround like and be able to connect to it through your phone and all that other stuff so this video I'm gonna show you how to do that so you wanna do is you wanna get on your browser and I'm gonna have this uh, website in the description below for those of you that wanna take the hard way around it's virtualrider.codeplex.com so there you go right there and go to this website um, and you wanna it'll come up to this page right here and you wanna click on the big purple button that says download and then it'll download it in a second it takes it a second or two sometimes I've already installed mine, but you're basically just going to click on it. It's not a virus, promise. Since I've already installed it, it wants me to do all that, but I already have it. It'll tell you where you want to install it, all that stuff, and you click done. And I'm just going to exit out of there, close it. Okay. And once you're done installing it, you're expecting an icon to pop up on your screen on your desktop, but there's not going to be one. So you have to click on your start button, and you have to look up virtual router. Virtual router, and it'll be right here. You just click on it. It's called virtual router manager. This comes up. As you can see, I tried it. I tested it a minute ago or a little bit ago. Alright, so basically what you're going to do is shared connection. I'm connected right now, currently, I'm connected through an Ethernet cable. So, I want to connect through our internet, so I'll connect through Wi-Fi on my network adapter. Now, shared a connection, let me refresh this. Now I have Wi-Fi. As of right now, you can only use it through Wi-Fi. That's what I've tested. Ether ethernet doesn't work. Wi-Fi is the only way for me so far that I've tested. This is from my desktop. If you're on a laptop, it has a built-in uh, built network adapter and all that stuff. So it, it's possible that it works through Ethernet on a laptop. I'm not sure. But this video, I'm going to be going through Wi-Fi. So basically, it's going to be a Wi-Fi extender. If, it, if Ethernet doesn't work, it's a Wi-Fi extender. So basically, if you're connecting, say you're in a hotel, and you're connecting through your desktop um, to their Wi-Fi, and it's you're not getting that great of signal, you can connect. You say you, you okay, so you just connect to it and you you connect it through here, right? Then you come up on here and you say share connection. It's connected through their the hotel's Wi-Fi. Now you want to put in your own Wi-Fi's name. So let's name it. We'll name it. I guess we'll name it Andrew. Password would be Andrew Eno one. All lowercase, okay. Now now you're gonna click start virtual router, and it'll freeze for a second. And I'll say stop virtual router. That means it's up and running. Now I'm gonna see if it. You can click down here. Okay, so it's not working through. Okay, I'm gonna get on my iPhone here. I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi, and there it is, popped up. I'm gonna tap on it, and it's loading. I've already tried it, and there you go. My iPhone is now connected. It's retrieving hostname and IP address currently. So give it a second till the check mark will come up beside the Wi-Fi signal on my phone. Okay, check mark came up. Give it a second. It's gonna say that's the IP address for my phone, I guess. Give it a second. It'll pop up iPhone here in a minute. I believe if it doesn't then we'll know but I'm connected to it I'm gonna go ahead and just get on clash of clans or whatever if I had a, a recorder for my um, iPhone I'd show you yep it's loading just fine on clash of clans loaded just fine but yeah basically and then I'm just gonna disconnect to it and see what happens then I'm gonna connect back to our other Wi-Fi and I'm connecting my other Wi-Fi and it should disappear it should say something and there's my dog barking. Okay, so that's basically what happens. It gives you another Wi-Fi signal. It makes it stronger. It doesn't make the the signal like basically it's just making the signal. It's extending the Wi-Fi signal, but it's not. But it's not like making the signal just as strong. It's just connecting. You're connecting Wi-Fi from one place, and you're broadcasting it from where you're connected for two. So I mean, it's it's kind of useful, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. I was able to connect, connect my own Wi-Fi signal. signal from my computer, which is pretty legit if you ask me. I don't know how, um, how this all works or anything, but I thought it was pretty cool. I'd make a video about it. Y'all guys can you guys can test it out, see how it works for y'all. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's see if we can get 20 likes on this video. Um, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe for more how-to videos. I'm doing a lot of videos, like in the up kind of a lot of videos planned for you guys in the next few months and so so forth. So um, thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you guys next time.